And so, moving on, I'd like you to talk a little bit about your issues around your body and those who have subscribed or seen the other um, videos on Nadine, um, the stuff around her body's been like a massive thing, a really big thing. And I didn't really know about that at the beginning, but it became quite apparent that it wasn't just, um, oh, I'm not looking good today, I'm having a bad hair day, I'm having a fat day. There was something much more going on for you. And so, you know, would you share in your own words mm. that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I just didn't think that this was my body that I was supposed mm. to have. I mean, it just, I just couldn't accept that this is mm. what was given to me. I mean, I couldn't. And I know that I felt like that for most of my life. Most you know, of your life. From yeah. about, because I remember distinctly around the age of around seven years yeah. old, um, being unhappy mm. um, and like wanting to look a certain way and knowing that I, no, I don't look the way that I, in, like the way I want to look. Mm. Um, and what, what was that? Well, I, I want, it's, well, it's, I think, just that kind of, the, cl the classic kind of thing of uh, watching too many Disney films as a child, perhaps that had a lot to do with it. But yeah. I remember having like party dresses or like princess dresses that yeah. I had. And I remember asking my dad to tighten the ribbons at the back, like yeah. very tightly, because I yeah. wanted my waist to go in. Yeah. And I'd be like, tighter, tighter, like I want it, until the, um, the seams uh, come ripped. apart, ripped, yeah. Um, that's how tightly I would do it. And um, so I remember then feeling something. Mm. Um, and yeah, and in primary school around 10, 11, I was aware of like feeling like I, I looked like a boy and mm. feeling like I was very, like naturally very athletic and good at sports and like physically, um, you know, I could run very fast. I was very good in, on sports day and I would win the races and be the, mm. the wheelbarrow and the wheelbarrow, you know, because mm. I had this, all this str strength, you know. And, mm. um, but I, I did become aware that my um, girlfriends, you know, like at that age were being pursued by boys and I wasn't. And I was yeah. thinking, oh God. Was this your early teens or? This was 11 years 11 old. 11 years old, which right. is. Now I'm coming to think of it, it's like, it's all a bit odd, isn't it? But, <laughs> but at the time, though, that's what yeah. it was. That's what was happening and that's how I felt. So, um, and then kind of, and then it just got worse and worse and worse mm. and worse and worse and worse. And I just withdrew completely mm. and just thought, I'm not, I mean, I'm just not fit to be seen. You're not fit to be seen? No, I mean, I can't go out like this. I can't. It's not acceptable. It's just not acceptable. Mm -hmm. And that's, I was, I did go out, you know, and I, I was out um, and I went, I always went to school, I always went to college and um, I turned up for things, but, but I w really withdrew mm. from, like socially, I didn't have friends, you know, and if I did, I cut them off. Um, right. I remember that very clearly someone coming up to me and saying, come out, the sun is shining, you know, come out. Mm. And, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, w I would just, I didn't feel comfortable in my own skin mm. to the point where in a hot, gorgeous summer day, <clears throat> being invited out to have, you know, a fun time with, you know, with people my own age who just wanted to like hang out and I couldn't do it because mm. there's some barrier in my mind that told me no, you are not going. You don't fit in. You don't, you can't, looking like this, you cannot. Mm. And, you know, it just, I couldn't enjoy myself at all. I couldn't. So could, you, <laughs> could you share some more about how you saw your body? Because people um, who might be looking at you mm. just as I do, mm. don't see you in that way. Mm. So, you know, when you were looking in the mirror, mm, um, what was it that you were seeing? Well, <clears throat> yeah, I was seeing 
a very um <clears throat> like a very muscly like a bodybuilder body is what I saw and how I felt you know like the way that clothes sat you know that's how I felt like very big and like this bulging um yeah because the words that you've often used to like look like a hulk mm -hmm. a grotesque mm. um mm. bulbous solid mm. like a man yeah very broad broad this wide you know like being very aware of my shoulders like the width of my shoulders and when you um, in my arms yeah mm. like the kind of very I wouldn't show my arms you I mean my legs especially my the backs of my legs the kind of big hamstring like you know just kind of coming out there and, and the feel of my legs like rubbing together and my calf muscles just everything huge big mm. like exaggerated and too much you know this just too much too much of it because you would you were kind of sometimes you would in such minute detail you were going it's just that shape there that mm. would drive you crazy yeah yeah I mean, just because it's not something I have tried to achieve to mm. look this way like um I see women who do um they deliberately want to look muscular and I just felt that my body is shaped in a way that makes me look like I actively go to the gym and I pump weights and I mm. kind of um like I I'm I'm desiring this body to to be like full and bulging and big and muscly and and I'm not I'm not I don't want it I didn't mm. want it so it was, it was that it was like why is this why has this happened you know mm. like how where's the justice you know it's not mm. it's not fair so this was the mentality really really strong really strong mm. I mean really mm. overpoweringly mm. so kind of mm. controlling you mm. massively um, believing like so this body wasn't yours and it's, it's kind of the way you talk about it it's kind of it was an object that has nothing to do, and you don't want anything to do with it, mm -mm. that thing, mm -hmm. that separation. And obviously we've had to kind of really look at that and work at that. And, <laughs> you know, if when people, men especially, would make comments, you know, you have had some comments that, in your opinion, are, are, are offensive. Very and offensive. Been called hench. Hench. And to them, they, the guys who have said that, it, have laughed but for you obviously you know that's painful mm. and then uh, and at the same time other men have said called you a fitness why don't you be a fitness model mm -hmm. but because of Nadine's perception of herself she saw that as as an insult mm -hmm. when it could also be certainly seen as a compliment so you weren't able to take any kind of compliment and nice stuff on about yourself I didn't hear it as a compliment yeah um no mm. Mm -hmm. so I mean what's it like for you now I mean because Nadine used to be really even like you said in the height of summer really covered up mm. and now as you can see mm -hmm. <laughs> you got a skirt you got a skirt on <laughs> showing your arms and that was like that's a that was that's, a big deal yeah. for you that was yeah. I remember the processes that we went through and you were abroad at the time and it was hot and then when I think it was here it was your birthday and it was a challenge just to like take your cardio off to show your arms and mm. so yeah. this has been like a, a, a big step for Nadine I know you might not be able to understand that or appreciate it but I do because mm -hmm. I know <laughs> and so to see you here today mm. you know laughing and smiling mm. and you know, and you're getting compliments. I mean, how do you feel, you know, and honestly, from where you were, mm -hmm. how do you feel about your body now? And it is a process. It's a yeah, journey. I mean, I have um, moments where I revert back to that old way of, like, relating to my body when, when I'm feeling a little bit low or mm. things are really overwhelming or 
life is just getting very hard mm. then my like my the me mechanism that kind of takes over is that you know I take it out of my body and I then yeah. I I start to notice things that I don't like again and I oh I wish oh no this is I wish that was different and why would so that that happens it does happen but it's not the um, the mode that I'm in all the time and which it was before which it was before mm. that was constant yeah the voice that was there constantly kind of like thrashing out and you know that was constant mm. Mm. no reprieve from that mm. until I started to realize that it was just something that was there and that there were other you know the it didn't have to be and suddenly it wasn't always you know it was kind of like it was a process and um but now now um it hasn't been easy it hasn't mm. but now that you ask me um you know i feel quite comfortable here now and just you know having my arms on display and like having tights and a skirt and like a top that's kind of like a bit of a v and this is all, this. I wouldn't have felt comfortable. You would never even. I wouldn't have considered wearing yeah. this ever. I mean, at the beginning. So um, yeah. So now, um, yeah. I feel. I feel like I'm developing my own like style and and that I have just my unique like individuality. This is this is me. This is how I look and um, it's kind of um, how to make the best of. Um, not just um, like how I look but how to incorporate like my personality that I'm discovering you know I'm discovering mm. uh, like the creativity and um, the playfulness and the fun and uh, the sweetness and the softness and how to kind of bring that into like how I want to present myself yeah. it, you know to the world in how I dress and my style yeah. so it's all of that you know uh, com coming together to yeah. create something mm. um, where I'm confident and I feel like yeah I like how I look and I'm I'm happy and <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's weird saying it even talking about it because it's a lot of it's happened um, subconsciously yes mm. yes yeah. yes and it keeps on going back to when we do the inner work mm. when that changes then the outside inevitably changes mm. and like you couldn't have conceived of this when we first began it was just so alien to you it was like incomprehensible to mm -hmm. you but thankfully mm -hmm. Nadine trusted me and mm -hmm. certainly willing to take those steps at those times and it has been uncomfortable it has been challenging there's no doubt about that mm -hmm. and you're still taking those steps and your life has gotten better by how you feel about yourself Absolutely. Um, being able to wear a few more freer in the clothes that you wear and sort of like hiding and covering yourself up and it's just the same to do with any kind of expression communicating with your friends and your family it's like not hiding just expressing who you are mm -hmm. and letting the world know who you are from like a really vibrant and healthy place and it's mm -hmm. like it's really it's really wonderful <laughs> it's really wonderful to have seen Nadine from where she was and be mm -hmm. privileged to be like on this on this journey and excited like mm. where it's gonna go now because it's always changing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's really exciting yeah. so um thank you <laughs> thank you